I have loved horses ever since I was little. I never took lessons, but I did have the odd pony ride here and there. When I was around 18, I decided I wanted to start taking lessons. The first lesson horse I rode was called Buckley. I rode many different horses there. I started with one of my friends and we rode every fortnight on a Saturday. It was fun for a while, but I felt like I wasn't progressing. So I moved barns and my friend stopped riding. At the new barn, I rode a horse called Cody. He was a five-year-old quarter horse and he was lazy but fun to ride. I got a lot of confidence riding him and I loved it. I then decided I wanted to lease a horse, so for a few weeks I had trialled a standard bred gelding called Nemo. He was difficult to ride compared to the lesson horses, but it felt good having my own horse. Unfortunately it didn't work out, but I was grateful I got the opportunity to ride him. I then had to stop riding for a while because I couldn't afford it, but at the start of 2016 I started riding lessons again on a horse called Honey. She was a quarter horse and she was really lazy and fun to ride. I then decided I wanted to learn more about horses and not just riding. So I went on Oz Horse and found an advert about a lady needing help with her horses. I had no experience apart from riding lesson horses but I messaged her anyway. I began helping her twice a week, cleaning paddocks and feeding the horses. Once I was more experienced, I started riding Pixie, a 16-2 thoroughbred cross warm blood gelding. He was super hard to handle at first and would run off when I was leading or lunging him. It was frustrating but after a while I became more of a leader. He had a huge trot and canter and I was a bit scared to do any more than a trot. So I just plod around on him every now and then. It still felt good to be riding. Then came along Rose. She was brought to the property because she had a leg injury. When it was uh, more healed I started to lunge her. She was a really sweet mare and very sensitive and listened well on the ground. The only thing about her was that she was very spooky. Um, she got spooked super easily. I started riding her but was so nervous she was going to speak that I just sat and walked her around. Eventually I got more confidence and we started trotting and going on a beach ride. Um, the beach rides were the best times I've ever had riding. She was amazing along the beach and not as spooky. I felt amazing when riding her there. I created a real bond with Rose and it felt like I had my own horse. I rode her for about a year but I started losing my confidence again and realised she probably isn't the right horse for me to be riding. I didn't want to give up, but sometimes we don't really have a choice. So she was moved to a different property and now she's up for sale. I owe her so much because she taught me a lot and I miss her every day. If she wasn't so spooky and injury prone, she had a lot of feet and soreness issues, she went lame a lot, she would have been perfect. Oh, and I forgot to mention that she's a thoroughbred um, cross and illusion. She's beautiful. I will never forget her and the memories we made. So I started riding Pixie again and felt way more calm and relaxed riding him, but I was getting a bit bored. I started losing motivation to go to the barn because I had moved houses, so it was now a 40 minute drive instead of 20 minutes. I stopped riding and helping out, but I still go there once a week for a horse care program with other people, which I really enjoy.
Fast forward to 2018 and I've just started taking lessons again. I first rode a pony called Trixie and she's so fun to ride. She's around 13 hands, we've done some trot poles and cantering and I really like riding her. This is Rollo and I rode him in my last lesson and he is a thoroughbred and he's super bouncy and really really forward but he's a lot of fun to ride. Um, this was my first time riding him and I'm only on the lunch line because my um, trainer wanted me to kind of get used to him but he was super amazing and I can't wait for our next lesson.